Greetings everyone, this is First in 753, starting a new series with a new game, Tropico 4. Actually, there's a Tropico 5 out, but, so this isn't a completely new game, but it's a new game for me. And uh, we're going to play a challenge game, and the author of this challenge is Poro. The start year is 1950, and the timeline goes from 1950 to 1985. Uh, in, just so you know, in Tropico you're playing a dictator or El Presidente of an island, and um, it's basically a city building game, but there's also some politics involved, so we're going to give it a try. Uh, this island is far from, this read description, this island is far from a perfect harmony. It is dominated by religious zealots who are not going to stand still while you take the power from them. With the help of foreign powers, you are the leader, but can you stay in your position or will religious zealots or the international community crush you? So let's see what happens here in this against all odds Tropico 4 scenario. Basically, it looks like we're going to have to appease the religious group in this uh, game. There's several different factions on the island. Uh, there's a capitalist faction, a communist faction, <coughs> excuse me, a. Uh, Religious faction, obviously, military faction. And we can pick different uh, people here. Let's see. I always like to do Juan Perón just because I like the outfit. Uh, but that doesn't really. I think maybe um, Generalissimo, military coup. Eh. Juan Perón also has these really good traits here, which is kind of not fair. I'm thinking maybe a military... Ooh, installed by the CIA. That should be the guy. Chief of Police. Oh, look at this. This guy's horrible. Alright, plus one for the capitalist faction. Plus four percent factory workers production. Minus 25 percent cost of banks. Marketplaces and souvenir shops. Plus two relations with all foreign powers. That's good. And minus ten relationships with the United States. But since we have capitalist favor... Well, being installed by the CAA should really improve our uh, U.S. relationships, so this pompous characteristic shouldn't be that big of a deal. Plus two to EU relations, that's plus 20 to EU relations, that's good. 30% plus edict cost, oh, good. And you can only praise yourself in election speeches, that's not really good. Well, it's going to be tough. But we get an extra two thousand dollars per year in treasury. All right, a lot of factors here. We'll go with this. Anastasio Somazo, Somozo, Senior. Here we go. Okay. Good afternoon. I see you have reached your destination, El Presidente. This is your new home. A small island deep in the Caribbean. We don't know much about this place, but for some reason. Major fat powers felt it needed a new leader to replace your predecessor, <coughs> Mr. Culto. <laughs> Funny name. Uh, this was a religious leader who left deep marks to this island. Anyone? Oh, sorry. We cannot help you to cope with the local community. You have to find your own way. Okay, so. <coughs> Here's our palace. Um, we have our four guards working at the palace right now. And you can do special ops training. Job quality drops. Now we'll keep it at normal training. Want to keep those soldiers happy. We got, looks like a little garden over there. <coughs> this is our construction office where we have four construction workers. They'll be building everything for us. And the arrows over there are pointing to where they're... Que necesita. There we go. Um, looks like we got some nice homes up here for the soldiers. Oh, here we go. May God be with you. I am the leader of the Assembly of Colto. He was a great man. Perfect in every imaginable way. And even more. You are not one of us. <laughs> we will not tolerate your presence on this island unless you do what we say. Hmm, Reverend Esteban. Okay, Reverend Esteban. 
let's take a pause for a second here and let's take a look at things. So we got nice housing up here, no one really living up there. I built some offices maybe for people uh, to live up here. We got looks like a shanty shanty houses. This is for our construction workers. They don't really make as much money. So they can't afford the rent. There's no rent for these. Housing costs three rent. But it proves that it gives a good uh, housing quality. So that's what we have here. Uh, and right here is a colonial fort, which can be made into a sophisticated re-educational facility or a colonial museum. This sounds like a jail. <laughs> it is a jail. The dungeon, right. Uh, or we can make it a museum. Interesting. I don't know what we're going to do with that just yet. So this is our top hill, basically. And we've got a pretty nice view. It's a nice palace. Yeah, we got some uh, lawn chairs and uh, umbrellas up here. Be nice to live there. Yeah, nice view. Down below, I believe, is where everyone else lives. Down here. Ugh. Oh, look at this horrible housing. Shant shacks. We've got farms over here. We've got a corn farm. Two corn farms. Uh, looks like a garage. Everyone's living in shacks down here. This is horrible. And Teamsters, they're going to move stuff for us. And we got a loading dock. So, and then there's shacks on the hill, too. So we got a lot of work to do with this island. Let's take a look at the demographics. First of all, overview. Um, we have 35, population of 35 people. <clears throat> and about $20,000. There's 51% happiness, and there's all, all these different happiness categories. There's a lot of respect, apparently. Religious quality seems to be in the lowest, so is healthcare. So we'll have to work on those. Uh, citizen average pay is $5 an hour. Average Caribbean pay is $8 an hour. Average age is 30. That's very young. Food quality is 52. Tourism, we haven't had any tourism yet, so there's no tourists. Uh, the balance, we've got uh, expenses for the farming industry and general overhead. That's uh, what we need to operate our buildings, farming. That's what we've had to pay <coughs> our farmers who haven't produced anything just yet. Player expenses. I haven't spent anything yet. And Swiss bank account. That is goes to my extra money. I don't know if I'm going to actually add anything for this campaign. Oh, there's my Swiss bank account. That's how much I've made overall just playing the game. And this is my character profile. And my score is a 963. Okay, interesting. People, happiness factors, we got that overall respect. This comes from different factions. The loyalists are very unhappy. We also need to work on the religious and intellectual factions. But overall, respect is good. Average pay we gotta work on. Food quality, food variety is low. They're eating all corn, can't be healthy. Uh, this talks about income disparity, which is interesting. The richest quin quintile makes nine dollars per hour. That's probably the soldiers. And here's all our citizens. Economic overview, we have 13 free job positions. So immigration is welcome. Uh, we already looked at this stuff. And we already looked at everything. Island expenses, service buildings, wages and upkeep, and then production buildings. That's our farms. Okay, that would be like, service buildings would be like construction and uh, the docks and the team service trade. I don't have to worry about that right now. Look at the factions. Foreign relations. Excellent relations with the United States, which gives extra foreign aid. We'll receive that once a year. These are the factors affecting our relations. Uh, excellent relations with the communist faction, which is also give us foreign aid. EU. We have good relations with them, no effects yet. China is warm towards us, which increases the price of canned goods. And Middle East is also warm towards us. So good foreign relations. And the overview. Here's the pay. Yeah, all the pay, the $9 an hour. 
those are the soldiers. All the other workers are making one to five dollars an hour. Farmers, construction workers, teamsters, and dock workers. Happiness. Most people are content. Two people are unhappy. Two people are happy. And there's also children involved in this uh, list. Respect. Most people respect us. Education. <coughs> This is going to be an important factor because different jobs require different skill levels. Age, right in the middle of there. Only one, one old person, that's it. Everyone's from Tropico. Here's all the jobs. The breakdown. Housing. Most people are living in shacks. 27 people are living in shacks. We gotta do something about that right away. That's an early move. Alright, different factions. There are diehard supporters of the faction, strong supporters, moderate supporters, supporters, and then... So there's not a lot of people in the capitalist faction that likes this. Communist faction is bigger. Intellectual faction is not big. Religious faction, this looks big. Military, environment, nationalists, loyalists. Looks like the religious faction is the biggest faction. Alright, so that's what we have to deal with. So, what is the first thing we should build? I'm thinking a church. Or we could build housing. Or I could get a factory going. We don't have any unemployed people, so I don't need a factory. And the corn will be shipped out. I think I'm going to build a church. And I probably should build a church down here. Wait a minute, you know what, let me go back. What people are in the religious faction? Construction workers, children, soldiers, dock workers. We'll build a church up here, why not? We'll put it right on the edge. Where is the church? I forget. Welfare? Yes. Church. I'm gonna build it right here on top of the hill. So people from down the hill should be able to have access. I think that's a good move. Right off the bat. Build the church. It's close to the construction yard. <coughs> so we should be able to get construction workers there. Aha! And there you go. We need a place of worship. Sunny Beach is not dark and murky enough to feel the sadness in our soul. To f feel the sadness in our souls after Mr. Koto passed away. Build us a church. You, we gave you 36 months. Well, I'm going to do it in one time, probably. This is going to be a high construction priority. And some workers. Who are these people? No me interesa. That's a dock worker. See? Si? Dock workers live all the time. Okay. Let's see. The other thing I should build probably some homes down here. Actually, I'm going to start by building a road. Roads would always be good because that. Wait a minute. There we go. I say we build a road. Oh. Infrastructure. Yeah, let's build a road out this way. It's gonna cost 40 bucks. Okay, good for now. Speed things up a little bit. Let's see if anyone starts working on this. I'm not seeing anybody. Who's that? Muy buena. Farmer. That's an army truck. I need my workers here. Looks like a worker. No, no, no. Yep. Yep, there they are. There's my construction workers. Alright, three of them. Get to work. Build me a church. Oh, this is looking good. Looking good, the religious faction's gonna be happy. Buenas tardes. You can also ask them what they think. Can't satisfy faith, that's an issue. I want to speak with God, but there is no church now. 
we have a church. Excellent. This is marvelous. Maybe we won't kill you now. Ha <laughs> ha! Thank you. I have to earn some... You have earned some respect from us. Okay. Religious fanatics compose songs for you. That's nice. I wonder if we can hear any of the songs. Probably not, because that'll be a YouTube copyright violation. So we definitely can't. Alright, we need somebody to work in this church. Ooh, man. About a year has gone by. No, half a year has gone by. And here comes our first freight. Is there anything to ship out? No, nothing is being exported. Oh, this island is abysmal. Oh, eight new immigrants. Wow. There's going to be a housing issue here. Uh. Nine free job positions. You know what I need to do? I'm going to need to control this immigration. And in order to do that, you need to build a... What is that? This is rocks. We need an immigration office. So we got a government immigration office. I should probably... I could probably put it right... There. How much does that cost? I don't know. It costs three thousand. Okay. That's the next move. We gotta be able to control immigration as it flows in. What's that? The shack? I don't know what that is. It just appeared. Oh, that's farmland. That's where they'll be growing the crops. Uh huh. Relations between Tropico and the Middle East have no hit food. an all-time low point. As long as the Upper and Lower Easts remain on our side, we should be all right. Right. Anyway, it seems we will not be receiving camels as gifts for some time. Camels? Where? Ah! Okay, those are two characters from the game. Uh, Palotomo, and I forgot the girl's name. But Palotomo is kind of a... He acts like he's an idiot, but I think when you play the campaign, he may actually try to stab you in the back. That's based on what I've seen as the achievements, because there's like an achievement that says kill Pultimo, so yeah, he's going to cause problems at some point. Alright, we are about done with our first year. We've built a church and an immigration office. We have 11 free job positions. No one is unemployed. Uh, player expenses were pretty high. This is construction, 8500 for construction. But island expenses were only 3000 which we don't completely cover with our income. But with the farming operations that are underway here, maybe we will. We also are going to get coordinated. So actually, we will be covered. Let me see here. Yeah, that income's better. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, foreign aid income. Yes. So we're making money. We have a surplus. We have priests. We have two priests. Very good. Where are they living? Are they living? Yeah, nice. They took up the housing. Okay, I like that. Use them because I don't want to bulldoze these houses. So I want people to be living in these houses. Nobody's living in these houses. We got one of our immigration workers living there. Who's living in these shacks? Soldiers living in these shacks. Come on, man. I'm paying you good money. Get out of the shack. Go into the house. Maybe I should pay the soldiers more money. They'll be out of the shacks. 14 people are homeless. Oh, man. Housing situation is just abysmal on this island. Shanty. Hmm. Well. Usually they will give you missions. Ah, 
that looks like I'm gonna have to create a mission for myself, probably. And I am going to have to... Oh wow, look at this. Healthcare is horrible. Entertainment's horrible. Housing quality is horrible. And liberty is horrible. Hmm. So we gotta do something. I could build a tenement. I think I might build a tenement. Let's build a tenement. That's pretty bad housing, but it'll improve the housing. It's cheap, and it'll improve the housing um, for a lot of people. Alright, immigration. We are going to switch our immigration policy to skilled workers only. I don't want any unskilled laborers. I have enough of those. Sweatshop, we should. We got plenty of jobs. Ooh, there we go. We've got some uh, corn to export. That could improve the corn situation. Or the. Oh, look at this. Right here we go. Meals provided 24, and uh, no meals provided here, but we have output storage for 78. Oh, look at that, 16 immigrants. Should soon be able to outport some of this, uh, export uh, some of this corn pretty soon. Six new immigrants. How does that do to our job situation? Okay, only five free job positions. There's one teamster, that's an uneducated worker. One of them is a priest that needs to have at least a high school education. Two of them are uneducated, can be uneducated uh, construction workers. And then... Who's the other one? Oh, probably a farmer. Yeah, there we go. It's also uneducated. So we can use, we can bring in uneducated workers. I think sometimes some of the uneducated workers, let's see what our population looks like with education. Education population here. Most of them have none. Yeah, a lot of these immigrants, even though it says I want skilled uh, laborers to come in, a lot of times they don't come in with a lot of education. So, origin now. We have people from Haiti, Spain, Venezuela, Germany. Puerto Rico. Buenos días. And yeah, they don't have any education. No me interesa. ¿Qué ocurre? Buenas tardes. Buenos días. ¿Qué? Uh huh. Oh, there's a college immigrant. Nice. Uh huh. Excelencia, ¿qué necesitas? So it attracts more high school and college educated. Its current effects: five percent high school, four percent. So we could still use a few more immigrants, and we're going to solve the housing problem with this tenement. Let's see here. 35 people living in shacks. We're going to try to solve that problem right here. And then I think the next thing probably should be health care. Here comes the next freighter. Hopefully we get some immigrants. We might have to close the borders after this next one. To contain any excess population. Immigrant population. So we don't want unemployment. Here comes the freight. And who's coming off the freight? Two new immigrants. Okay. Again, no exports. Uh, we should build a factory. Oh, you know what I built last time I played this? I built a logging camp right here. And I built a lumber mill over here. Which could lead to a furniture factory. Hmm. Let's look at industry. Oh, yeah, lumber mill is pretty cheap. It's only $1,000 for the blueprints. You have to buy blueprints for all this stuff, too. Furniture factory is a lot. Um, but before we build a lumber mill... I think the logging camp is free. And 
I think I might just pop down a logging camp right here. That's what I believe I did last time. <clears throat> Alright, $1,500 to build up. Tenement is going to be built soon, which will solve no high school in Tropical. My dear Presidente, do you know that your advisor, Penultimo, spells his name with not one, not two, but five typos? That's a lot. All intellectuals agree that it is high time we build a high school on our island. Okay, I can go for that. Because high school workers would... We're going to need high school workers to work in the factories. Income is still looking good. The balance, we're a little low. Okay, so we lost a couple hundred bucks there. But we have enough income to maintain our island expenses. However, most of the income is coming from foreign aid. Gotta get off that foreign aid. Okay, we have our first tenement building. And people are moving in. Teamsters, construction workers, farmers. It should be affordable. It's only one dollar wrench. There we go. That's that due to the people living in our housing situation. Alright, 33 people still live in the shack, so we gotta get those people out of The logging camp will actually be able to start exporting logs. This will be good. This will be a good industry. Tenement housing. More people moving in there. The priests, oh, stay in the homes. Stay in the houses. It is a pretty crummy looking building. Look at this thing. Yeah, it looks like a dump. I wonder if it's a dumb dump. No, it is not. At least they don't have that shaft in the middle. Four new immigrants on the island. How are we looking? Four people unemployed, one free job position. Okay. Now we'll be... Well, actually, this is going to create a bunch of jobs for uneducated workers. Perfect. We don't want clear cut. I want selective harvest because this will decrease pollution and preserve the beauty of the island. So it won't diminish the resource. Provide some jobs and some additional income. Probably gonna see shacks come up around here. So another tenement building could be good. The, uh, how much does we offer here? Five dollars in wages. It's just as good as everyone else. We'll keep the uh, skilled worker immigration policy open for now. Those unemployed people should move towards this job, though. Let's see what happens. Ooh, look at these guys. Four people uh -huh. unemployed. No education. Okay. No education. See? Okay. No education. Okay. No education. And those three males should be able to get jobs here. I'm offering you jobs. I think Shaxx are starting to disappear. Yeah, a lot of people living in that tenement. Great. A lot of the shacks on the island are disappearing. There's other maps you can look at. Occupancy. Oh, there you go. 13 shacks left. Housing satisfaction. Still pretty low. We gotta work on that. Okay, well, it's been uh, some time here. I think I'm gonna end the episode here in about 30 minutes. And we'll pause it. And we'll about done with two years here. And uh, we'll start the next episode following this. Thank you for watching.